Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about my favourite Slice of Life series. And I think you're wondering, what is Slice of Life? Slice of Life is basically a contemporary term, but I like preferring using Slice of Life because that's all these are, they're slice of people's lives. And I just prefer that term. So if you hear me say that, it is just a term that is synonymous with contemporary and is Bastard by J.L. Perry. And I love this book. I love Carter. I, lo I love the, the world building, the story. It is about a boy who was born a bastard in a time when that was not sitting right with people. And he meets this girl whose mother died of cancer. And it's just a sort of love story over the course of about eight years. And is it just me, or have fans who have read this book, is it just me, or did anyone else want to be that girl in Carter's bed when the time skip happened and everything just went to hell? Because when that happened, I was like, yeah, that's me in that certain book in point of time. I really loved Carter as a character. He was fan-fucking-tastic. I will leave my full review for this book down below because I love this book so much and I can't say any more, otherwise I'll ramble. The next book I have is The Bad Girl by Margot Vargas Llosa. I was going to link a review which explains this book in simpler terms, but the original creator, Cloud Cuckoo Country, has either privatised his review or deleted it, so I can't share that with you guys. But basically this book follows two characters over the course of several decades, and it is just this chase from this guy and this girl, and it is spectacular for a read that is set across multiple continents, multiple time periods. I just, I found it so refreshing and frustrating at times, but I really did love it. My third favourite read is actually a manga, and it is the Mars Manga by Fumi... I can't remember the last name. But, oh my god, it is about this boy who witnesses his twin suicide and this girl who was sexually assaulted when by her stepfather when she was young and it's a story of them coming together and through their love and admiration help heal the wounds caused by people and it is a great explanation on how love and friendship can help put past your trauma and I really support this ship it is in my top five ships video and I, I, I can't say anymore but I recommend you just go and find it on the interwebs and just read it. It starts off a little bit slow but as you get more into the psychological bit of it, it really, really, really sort of just gets you and you're like, yes, yes, yes bitch, let's go, let's explore, let's put in perspective for everyone, let's just do it right. I gave that manga 15 volumes by the way of this 5 out of 5 stars and it's my all time favourite manga ever. Animes, or next three are animes that I want to talk about. First one being Your Lie in April. Need I say more? It is a story about a guy who is a pianist and he, um, his mother dies when he was very young and so he can't play the piano like he used to because it was so traumatic that it put him into a slump. And this girl who has a debilitating disability and they come together to form this sort of friendship, romantical relationship and it is beautiful and it is nice and it is so good like oh I was just on the edge of my seat every episode and it's so realistic that I love it. There's a certain theme going on here with all these contemporaries but hey I like what I like. The second last one I'm going to mention is Sekaiichi Hatsukoi, and you've heard me talk about this in my Captive Prince review and various other times. This is a boy, like a LGBTQ show, and is basically based around three couples at three different stages in their relationship and just the journeys that they go on throughout that relationship. I will be doing a video more on this, so I won't say too much here because I don't want to spoil it, but it's very, 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 very good. And I love the portrayal of sort of these relationships without much drama and much thing. I know it's not realistic, but it is so good. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Clannad After Story. And this is so... I'm, I can't really describe it because my feelings towards this are very cat and mouse. On one hand, I really did love it, but on the second hand, it was so dramatic that only... 
I think a handful type of people are going to be able to handle the drama that just gets edged up again and again and again. And it is so good when you want to watch it, but it'll just break you at points. Unless your heart is made of stone, then, hey, you might be able to survive. I don't know. But it is so good, and I recommend you check it out. I recommend you check all of these out because they are my favourites. And I just go back to them time and time again because they just enrich my life so much. And that is my favourite contemporary reads review suggestion thing. If you want to learn more, I will leave all the links down below. So thank you for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye.